Sony Dental Clinic in Martinsville hit a major milestone today. The clinic has been operating now for 10 years. In that time, it's provided around $8 million worth of care to more than 37,000 individual patients. WSLS 10's Rob Manch has the details for us tonight. Here at the Community Dental Clinic in Martinsville, people can sit in one of these chairs for an average of $20 to $25 a visit. It's a service that's become a model for others around the country. <laughs> Melissa Hopkins says it's a service she and her daughter began using 10 years ago. I think it's, it's pretty magnificent because um, they don't have to worry about how their kids are going to get treated. Hopkins says without insurance, this is the only way her family can have their dental needs met. I um, had cavities and um, also had to have a root canal. And um, over the years, I've had my wisdom teeth removed. And that I have pretty teeth now. <laughs> Founder Mark Crabtree says he began the practice in Martinsville after a major factory closed down. People were left without insurance and without access to care, and it came to a critical point. In a decade, thousands of jobs have been lost in the area, with names like Stanley Furniture, Master Brand Cabinets, Hooker Furniture, and Magicraft Homes all closing their factories. Larry Law says he lost his job about four years ago. I remember when I used to work at Toltex, and it was plentiful around here for its jobs and the economy was booming. But now, you know, it's, it's kind of been a downhill slide. To meet that need, Crabtree has dental students from Virginia Commonwealth University provide care for the clinic. Lauren Jones is originally from Martinsville. The entire reason that I went into this field of dentistry um, is because I saw the impact that it made on people who were less fortunate than I was, um, and I wanted to give back to the community that helped raise me. There's evidence to show what students like Jones give back helps more than just the patients. In its 10 years, the amount of people heading to the emergency room at Martinsville Memorial Hospital for dental-related emergencies has dropped 34 percent. Just another reason why Hopkins says for her, the service is a godsend. We definitely need to keep it open for another 10 years. Last year alone, the clinic saw a 15 percent increase in patients, so Crabtree says he expects his services to continue for another 10 years to come. In Martinsville, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.